We're stepping into week four of the cheese relaunch campaign and we're starting to put some cheeses out into the world. Hey, thanks for checking in with this week's update on the cheese relaunch campaign. Um, it's, uh, it's been a big week. It's been kind of quiet on the social media front. I haven't really been engaging that much, but that's just because I've been behind the scenes getting stuff done. <laughs> so, um, started making cheese this week because we, um, I, I announced in the last video that I passed the first milestone, which is the making cheese milestone. So, um, it's super exciting. This week I just got really down to work. So I'm just really kind of trying to put a system in place so that I can start, um, you know more efficiently uh making cheese uh but i i started uh making the first batches and uh, i've posted some pictures of the the new packaging um that i'm testing out i'm testing out some new um like cheese paper so i'm just kind of wrapping them in simple cheese paper that but it's a uh, the cheese paper is this special Italian paper, it's supposed to restrict bacterial growth, so to extend the shelf life. So yeah, we'll see what, what people think about it. I, I th thought it was interesting and it, I think it looks kind of cute and um, see what you guys think. I, I did post some pictures of it. I will be sending out the uh, cheeses for the winners of the Vegan Essentials giveaway um, this week. So those should be uh, hitting the world real soon. Um, I've also had some, some really, um, positive developments just in terms of, um, fundraising and contacts and yeah, I've, I've, uh, I've heard from a lot of people in the industry and it's been really, really positive and really, um, hopeful. Uh, there's definitely a lot of interest, um, in scaling, uh, the process. So, um i will say that as far as that goes there's kind of a big cultural gap because there's a pretty it's a pretty wide gap between like the what i was doing and like how big it can get and so there's for sure a cultural gap you know i mean part of it is 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 probably you know just simple business you know I mean at that level of business like the values are different you know the culture is different I mean I will say that as a woman and and maybe this can bring up a conversation with other people it's like you know the business world is a man's world and so um, the values that are um, sort of rewarded are like um, these are like men's values, you know? And so as someone who's not a man, you can sometimes get lost in the shuffle because it's like, I contribute things that I think are valuable, but like for me to um, have to act like a man, like, and be inauthentic to who I am, it's like, that causes so much stress. And then, I mean, I think I, I did kind of try to follow that carrot the last time around and uh, it just, it doesn't, necessarily create viable long-term outcomes so i'm just you know also just giving a lot of thought with how i'm going to interface with this in the future because you know clearly the first time around it didn't go very well <laughs> for me and uh and i just want to have like sustainable viable outcomes going forward so this is an open-ended conversation and I'm definitely open to hearing people's thoughts about this because I think it's a big issue that impacts people beyond me. And um, and I think it's important to just have an open conversation about this. So just putting that out there. Um, but you know, for now, I, I'm just, I'm meeting this where I am and I'm just gonna start making cheese. I, I've already started making cheese and we're just gonna, we're just gonna go with that you know we're gonna move forward so um i will say that the next big hurdle that i need to address is um shipping and i kind of brought this up in the last video shipping is super expensive it's um 
logistically difficult and and particularly at this time of year because in the summertime it's very very expensive to ship stuff you have to ship it faster and you have to ship it with a lot more like ice and materials so um i i sent like 10 cheeses to eureka compass vegan foods for the event that i talked about last week and it cost me 67 dollars. so that's not obviously viable um, so I'm just looking for solutions to that problem. So that's the next hurdle I need to overcome. So there's a couple different things, you know, I'm looking at third party shippers. I mean, the partnership that I did with vegan, vegan essentials was super viable. And, and a lot of it is because vegan essentials is, you know, they're a large internet retailer. So they have a volume shipping discount. So I'm actually just going to ship all the cheeses to them and they're going to ship them out to the individuals because it's completely not viable at this point for me to ship cheeses to individuals, especially at this time of year. And I brought this up in the last video about my idea of, you know, maybe doing a limited edition artisan cheese line for the holidays, like how that might be more viable. So, um, these are thoughts. I'm still, you know, working on solution for things. I'm open to doing partnerships and collaborations with people. It's, you know, best for me to ship like a large number of cheeses to one location um, to try to get the cheese out to more people. Uh, that's kind of where I'm at right now. But, uh, you know, every week this thing is evolving and uh, it's been a beautiful process and I'm just happy to be back to work on the ground making cheese. So I'll uh, check in probably not till next week because I think this weekly rhythm is, is good, but you might hear from me um, with regard to this, uh, my new wellness platform, Asian Warrior Princess, because I'm starting to do some, um, some gardening videos, which I'm excited about. So um, I want to share that experience with you as well. So, um, until next time, uh, keep it real and uh, we'll see you soon.